Hey guys, it's Quincy Henderson again, and today I'm back for for some more vi video reviews. Well, it's been a while since, uh, I think last week with that 200 subscribers video. Plus, I got the allergy problems again, but that's starting to clear up. So anyways, I'm finally back to do more video reviews, and yesterday we went to Gorman's, we went shopping, and the next thing you know, we stumbled upon some Jurassic Park figures. And also, very big surprise, but I'll talk about that in the next video well after the other videos I'll be talking about the other figure reviews and I also got the dino trackers and some other dinosaurs that I'll be reviewing on this channel later on and it's a very special thing which I'll be talking about so anyways let's just get on to this this is the dino growler sets for Jurassic Park 2013 originally released in 2009 and also originally released as Jurassic Park 3 figures but these are repaints so let's just get on with the packages. So on here we get the Jurassic Park logo in the silver version, better version. And then we get to see the Try Me logo with the Tyrannosaurus. We see the Battle Growler and the Dino Damage War. And the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Rexy it came back. On the bottom we got ourselves the Dino Growler's logo with the name of the dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And the bite is back, which is the logo with Tyrannosaurus and Velociraptor. On the Velociraptor we got the same well, Jurassic Park logo and Tyrannosaurus Rexy over here. And we got ourselves the Battle of Howl and the Dino Damage Roar over here. On the bottom there, we see the same Dino Growlers logo with the Velociraptor. And obviously enough, the Velociraptor and Tyrannosaurus Rex bite his back with half. On the back, we got ourselves the descriptions of the dinosaurs. We see a fossilized Jurassic Park logo right there. And we see the dinosaurs are back. These savage beasts battle for supremacy in the wildest place on Earth, Jurassic Park. And then we got ourselves the instructions and, uh, well, the overview of the uh, original, like, version release. I don't know, like the original paint job, how is it going to be? The T-Rex. We got ourselves the press dino damage button the roar. And description for that. And also the, uh, well, the analysis on the T-Rex and also at the bottom we also got ourselves a note to parents PG-13 thing right there and the other Jurassic Park figures you can get in line also be warned this little part right here covers a Triceratops really it does the uh, other package for the Velociraptor is just the same thing as the T-Rex so pretty much this has got ourselves different information and same thing Okay, so let's get these guys out of the packaging now. It's very easy to get them out of the package. All you gotta do is cut the twist ties, which I already did, so pretty much they're easy to get out. So here is these guys out of the package, and I gotta say, it really is a great pleasure to get these guys again because the original ones I had, they were messed up a little. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> so anyways, let's get on with the Tyrannosaurus Rex first. So the Tyrannosaurus Rex, starting off with the head sculpt, the likeness isn't really that much resembling the Tyrannosaurus in Jurassic Park, but although it's, a, it's an okay likeness, uh, we can see all kinds of good detail on him. Open the mouth a little bit because we don't want to, don't want to do the sound mechanisms yet, even not on focus. You can, you can also clearly see you can see dinosaur taste buds and lots of incredible detail in the mouth. And. Big, the best thing about this here is it's got a slit pupil eye. I like the way that did it. Little clip on the other side. Looks very amazing at this side too. And as we go down, we got some more details and scaling and all that kind of stuff. And also good detail on the dino damage. Plus, back to the painted ones because the original ones, like the dinosaur ones, they didn't have the uh, painted versions. They had like just red. They did have it in Jurassic Park 3, but the other ones did. We got a J conjoined JP logo again, once again. We got some very good, uh, very good detail on all of it all around, and a very good paint job. I really like this, like this so far. Oh yeah, I forgot about the tail. You get down here. Just, just giving an overview, and we can see the tail from here. Wonderful paint job going through JP logo again, and the details on the feet and everything, and the sound bar right here. 
We also got the, well, slightly huge arms for a Tyrannosaurus. And we go back to the head sculpt. The Tyrannosaurus Rex has two action features. One, Dino Damage Roar. We play it again. And the action feature, when you press the neck, which is this button here, he roars. So, let's get that a shot. So pretty much that is an accurate T-Rex roar, where Alan Grant actually chunks the flare, obvious. And, also, uh, the weirdest thing about this is that this really dino damage, the dino damage roar here. It actually, it actually is an accurate roar, but not too accurate. I don't know but if you can barely hear it though. And really, I actually like this version better than the original. And uh, well, not much to say about this, but the features are cool. But although it's really weird, you could press the neck and get him to roar. And, yeah, this is pretty much a great T-Rex figure. I definitely recommend it. So now, we can go on to the Velociraptor next. So the Velociraptor has a good likeness. Let's get to the head skull first. Uh, although, the raptor doesn't look too accurate, but he's accurate to the JP3 raptor because of the, the huge hump on his head. He's be a little trimmed down, though. And he's got the blue feathers. Why are they blue? I like that color. Also, we can get to wonderful details on the face going down through here. And we got ourselves wonderful detail all over the skin. The JP logo again. Dino damage. The tail. This one actually has the most amount of detail, and most is better than T Rex. We'll flip over here. The JP logo again. And the arms, they got incredible detail too. And we see the, the go back to the head sculpt. Also, the mouth inside, really cool. I like the way that's been made. And they actually got these painted in because the original JP3 ones don't really have their mouths painted in, especially at the top. That's a disappointing thing in the JP3 versions. But these, they brung it and brung it the way it should have been. So Hasbro really deserves <laughs> deserves a good. Thing about that. The Velociraptor's features are this. You pull this lever back, his arms will go up and down, making a and making a battle and making a battle howl. When you do it over and over again, it's just gonna keep repeating the sound. And when you press the dino damage well, excuse me. When you press the dino damage wound right here, he'll make a like a like a little well not a dino damage roar, he makes like a little growl sound. It does repeat over and over when you press it over. So, I actually like these when they actually repeat because your other ones, they don't really repeat that much. So, yeah. I like the action figures on here. And it's really good. So now it's comparison time. So let's compare this to our original JP3 counterpart here. If you can barely see the lightness, so, but... Sorry about the bad lighting, though. Is that he got a dark paint job that I'm trying to get it to see. Well, you can get a you can get a difference to see how it is. The reason why I'm holding them because his legs are loose. That's why I glued them before, but now they unglued itself. And you can see comparison on their dino damage wounds too. See how they're different in colored. And just beware, the 2013-2009 paint job is better. That guy, you could say. Now let's compare our Velociraptor here to the original JP3 Velociraptor. I can get an indication of how this looks too. They will have problems standing up. Even his legs. Well, his legs are a little bit loose, but just to get an indication. They look pretty much the same sculpt because it's a bit of repacked. So yeah, that's a comparison to that guy. So there we have it guys, that's today's look on the Dino Growlers from Jurassic Park 2013, or better yet, Jurassic Park 2009. 
So, what do you think of these figures? So, pretty much, just tell me in the comments what you think of them. If you have the original version, tell me what you think of those. So, as always, this is Henderson Productions signing off. Until tomorrow. Until the next review. See you guys later.